Hello, my name is Shi. In this video, I want to talk about Seto Custom Method, which is one of my favorite personal knowledge management systems. Seto Custom Method is one of the most effective knowledge management methods, but it's not known by many people. The word Seto Custom means box of cards in German. This method was developed by Nicholas Luhmann, a German sociologist. He may not be super famous, but what makes him stand out from the crowd is not just the fact he was an exceptional scholar, but also his writing efficiency. In 30 years, he published 58 books and hundreds of articles. How did he manage to write so much? It's thanks to his unique knowledge management system, Zettel Custom. Zettel Custom allowed him to build huge web of knowledge, retrieve the right memory when needed, find meaningful connections among topics, and develop his ideas, arguments, and discussions efficiently. The process of Zettel Custom is simple. All you need is small boxes, index cards, and a pen. Lumen had two boxes. One for bibliographical notes with the reference details and a brief notes about the content of the literature, and the main box where he collected and created new ideas and insights. The first step of Lumen's Zettel Custom is taking literature notes. When you're reading a book or article, always have a pen and index card with you. And when you find the information you don't want to forget or think you might use in your writing or thinking, write it down in your index card, instead of highlighting or underlining. But you have to be careful that it has to be brief to make it easy to review later and you have to write it in your own words. This means no copy and pasting. Writing in your own words may take a while, but it forces you to really understand what they mean. The second step is taking bibliographical notes whenever you finish reading something. Luma wrote down the reference information on one side of an index card and a brief note about the content on the other side. Then he kept cards in the bibliographical box with the literature notes. The third step Probably the most important step is making permanent notes. Go through each note you made in the previous step while thinking about how they relate to what you are learning, your interest, thinking or research. Your goal is not to collect as many notes as possible, but to add new values to your existing ideas, arguments and discussions. What's important here is finding meaningful connections between what you just learned and what you already know. By doing so, you build a web of knowledge. The more web of knowledge you develop, the easier it becomes to learn and retrieve the information from your brain. This is because the more information means more hooks we can use to connect the new information to. And more connected information also means more cues we can use to trigger the right memory. To find such connections efficiently, ask yourself, how does this idea fit into what I know? Can this be explained by something else? What does X mean for Y? How can I use this idea to explain something else? Additionally, it's important to find keywords in your notes to find connections among notes. But finding keyword is not about where to store a note, but about how to retrieve it. When deciding a keyword, many people ask which keyword is the most fitting or which category does this note fall into. Rather, you should ask yourself, in which circumstances would I want to stumble upon this note, even if I forget about it? Or when and how will I use this idea? Keywords should always be assigned with an eye towards the topic you are working on or interested in, never by looking at a note in isolation. After finding connections, add your new permanent notes to the main box by finding each one behind relevant notes, adding links to relevant notes, and indexing in the way you can easily discover later. One extra step you might need is taking fleeting notes. They are temporary holders of your ideas and thoughts that pop into your mind, like ideas you get while taking a shower or walk. Always keep a notebook or piece of paper with you so you can write anytime. You should review your fleeting notes within a few days before you forget what you meant, and you can develop them into permanent notes if necessary. After repeating those steps for a while, you will have developed a huge web of knowledge. Now, whenever you need to find a topic to write well, turn to your box of cards and see the lines of cards you developed. See what is missing, see what questions arise. You can then read more and take notes to develop your ideas and arguments further. When you are done with this process, you will already have a wealth of information in your hands. This means you don't have to start from scratch when writing. All you have to do now is reassemble your notes into a logical order and translate them into something coherent. So that is the general workflow of Zettel Custom. In the next video, I'll show you how to digitally implement this system using Roam. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!